Greetings and welcome to your EdTech Quick Tip for this week. And did you hear the news? I'm a little bit delayed on it, so I apologize for getting that out to you guys. But GimKit, much in the same vein as Kahoot, Quizzes, all of those gamification applications that are out there, GimKit, one of the best, in my opinion, has finally gone free-ish. It's been free before. They've had a free tier. However, it's just been really, really limited. You had a small number of students that could join each of your individual GimKit sessions. But now they've, they've opened it up in order to compete, I think, with, with the other folks that are out there doing very similar things. The neat thing about GimKit, as you can see here on this blog post from the creator, Josh, he launched it four years ago as a school project. And it is a really, really neat piece of software. He goes on to state, you know, we've opened it up. There's going to be some limited modes throughout the year that are going to be available for free. Let's get into GimKit and kind of show you what it looks like to give you just a taste of it in case you haven't experienced it before. Oh boy, we've got holiday music. Let's go ahead and channel that off so you can hear me a little better. I've started the game on the teacher side of things. Now we're over here on the student side of things. They go through, they answer questions. And as they answer questions, they earn currency. Once they earn enough currency, they can do some shopping and they can purchase upgrades and streaks and bonuses and sometimes things that affect the other players in the game. It's a lot of fun and I think that it really generates a lot of enthusiasm with kiddos or adults in the classroom. So outlining what you can do with the free version, uh, I've got a GimKit that I've already created here. If you've never been over to GimKit, they also have a library of pre-made kits or you can make your own, totally up to you. You cannot assign homework, so you can't do a GimKit asynchronously with the free version, unfortunately, but you can now do the live version in a number of modes. So if you see a gold star, that means that it is still locked behind that paywall. However, uh, per Josh's blog post, he said that he's going to rotate the games that are available in here throughout the school year. So sometimes you're going to be able to be able to do Fishtopia, Trust No One, which is kind of like Among Us. I would imagine that Classic is always going to be available. And you're not going to have any limits. It used to be, I think, maybe like a 10 student limit per session. You don't have those limits anymore. So you can launch as many sessions as you want. You can host as many students as you want at a given time. I know that there are a lot of gamification options out there, but in my experience, whenever kiddos get to play GimKit, it's really, really cool, and I've had a tough time recommending it because until now, it's really only been available in a paid form. So hope you guys get out there and try it out, and if you do, let me know what you think. So, so that'll wrap it up for this week's EdTech Quick Tip, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.